Today on Stansbury Living, I'll be giving to you the Stansbury Park Housing Report for November 2018. Let's check it out. Hey everyone and welcome back to Stansbury Living. My name is Trent Ladle. I am a realtor with A. Warner Homes and Real Estate here in Stansbury Park, Utah. If you are curious about the housing market in Stansbury Park, I've got the latest sales information from the month of October 2018. As I mentioned last month, if you're like me and love to geek out on statistics and numbers, stay with me on this. You will enjoy it. In October, there were 14 home sales in Stansbury Park. This was down by 10 units from September. Total volume of sales dollars in Stansbury Park for October was down just over 2.8 million from September, coming in at just under $4.5 million. The average original listing price for October was $328,000, while the actual average selling price in Stansbury Park was $320,000. This made for a 97.5% effective rate for original list to actual sales price for the month of October. These prices were up from those of August and September, while the effective actual selling price rate dropped by half a percent. October saw another increase in dollars per square foot. The average for homes sold in October was just under $130 per square foot and is compared to $127.25 per square foot in September. The number of days on market for homes in Stansbury Park took an increase to 35.6 days versus 26.8 days in September. We can't expect this number to stay at this level or begin creeping up as we are now into the autumn season. Let's talk now about absorption rate and inventory levels in Stansbury Park. If you'd like additional information on what this means and how it is calculated, please review my video explaining it by clicking on the card above. Okay, so let's review the absorption rate and inventory in Stansbury Park based on October's numbers. For the previous 12 months, the absorption rate was 26.17 residential sales per month with inventory of 1.91 months supply of homes. The absorption rate increases to 28.67 sales per month for the previous six months with inventory somewhat down to 1.74 months of supply of homes. Jumping to the last two months, the absorption rate dropped to 25 sales per month, while the inventory increased to two months of supply. So what does all this mean? If you're wanting to sell your home, you want to do it now. The number of homes for sale currently on the market is dropping, giving you less competition to sell your home. Sales prices to original list price is still staying strong, and you should get a close to market offer on your home. If you are a home buyer, you need to be aware of new or upcoming listings so that you can get your real estate agent to schedule you a showing of that property as soon as possible. But before starting to look at homes, you need to be pre-qualified with your financing. This is important because your offer to purchase will be stronger than one without pre-qualification because you can schedule a closing date sooner. If you're looking to sell your home or looking to purchase a home, I would love to help you out with that. If you're needing to be pre-approved for financing, I have great preferred lenders that will work with you to get that pre-approval so you can start shopping for homes. And if you find one you like, we can write an offer quickly. I hope this information has been helpful. I know it's that it's a lot of numbers and a ton of information, but like I said, I geek out on this stuff and I like to provide it. I will be providing this same report every month so you can keep up to date along with me on the housing market in Stansbury Park. That will wrap up this month's report, and in the meantime, I will see you over at stansburyliving.com. Take care.